Road Bridge, an infamous person, allegedly a mechanophile, and well, even harsher, a pedophile. Now for a fact, it's proven. <laughs> You thought you could just drag my name through the mud and get away with it? Think again, Saith! Hey everyone, Roadbreach here, and today we're talking about Saith. Saith is a commentary channel, and that's about all I can say because his commentary is damn near unintelligible. Right. I see absolutely nothing weird going on, because think about it. Engineers, cause at the top of the building, when there's a lot of open holes, making them vulnerable to fall, but they continue. Exactly. Nothing weird. Hey yo, what the fuck? I found this guy when someone in Psychonautic Therapy's Discord server posted a screenshot from one of his videos where he used a clip of me from one of my YouTube shorts. I have absolutely no clue why though. It's not like it added anything to the video. It wasn't a clip of me saying anything funny. He just used a clip from my video for no apparent reason. So I decided to ask him why he decided to use a clip of me in his video where he reads comments because I wanted to know what was going on in his head when he used the clip. But he didn't seem to really like me asking a perfectly reasonable question, so he made a shitpost about me, where he mainly used my scrapped gag video, the one with the Samoyed dogs. The last segment of this video is an absolute fail because this idiot didn't think to add a green background to the sprite he used, so he keyed out the white background, thus keying out things that shouldn't be, and misspelling my name. He got ass mad at me for asking a question to the point he shot out this unfunny shit post that's worse than the scrapped gag I made. Save? More like seethe, because I asked a question and get a terrible shitpost in return where you misspelled my name. And for whatever reason, he decided to use LGBT in the tags when this video has absolutely nothing to do with the LGBT community. S seriously, what the fuck? Why, did, why would you put this here? This guy also made a community post about several people he's going to rant on, which included me. By the sounds of it, Saith seems like a drama whore with all these shitty responses. I was going to cover some of his videos for fun, but seeing as how this dumb fuck literally tries to slander me in his video on me, I think I may need to forego responding to the other videos I planned on covering. I was so mad at the video that I decided to share it with Psychonautic Therapy, and he shared it with Brother Near 2.0, which led him to make a live stream where he he brought on Krillix, Psychonautic Therapy, and me to rip into the video live. We even tried to debate Saith, but he left when this happened. Heard at face value, that's wrong. Yeah, I'm you kind have of all the time in the world to add shitty effects, but you can't be bothered to show evidence. Rod Breach, go kill yourself. I hope you die in a car. <laughs> so when he has a legitimate point about your video, you don't have a response other than shit. <laughs> if you want to see the whole thing, then you can check out the archived live stream in the description. So without further ado, let's do this. Hey folks, Seether here. And as what the title of this video implies, we are straight up going to be ranting on different genres of channels. But mostly speaking of man children. Now for instance, I know some of you are asking, what the fuck is a man child? Well my friend, imagine a man, except it's also a child. Uh, Kerb takes over this video, and in case you were wondering... Yeah, nobody watching this video needs to be told what a man-child is. Not only because the definition is in the word itself, but also because anyone with half a brain would already know the definition. I find it funny that you think you need to have one of your dumb friends chime in about the definition of a word most people would already know, but also can't be fucked to tell people what Plotagon is, talk about why you don't like the Owl House, or describe the content Rosie Closey makes. I'm just going to skip this part because it's completely unnecessary. <laughs> I love talk- Oh god, no, not the floofs, not the floofs! I'm never going to hear the end of this bullshit until the end of time, am I? It seems both you and X Lucas have something in common. You both suck at being funny. I also love how you decided to take my scrapped gag and made it worse by adding in all your shitty editing. Road Bridge, talk an infamous person, allegedly a mechanophile, and well, even harsher, 
a better for him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Well, those are some bold claims to make about me. You better have some really good evidence to prove these allegations. Now for a fact, it's proven he's into Furryborn. Which this particular screenshot does not corroborate. The actual community post is just a picture of Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony, with nothing lewd about it. You really went out of your way to try and make me look worse than I am with this fake evidence. And even if I am into furry porn, none of what I'm into is zoophilic. They're anthro characters with human bodies. I shouldn't need to explain any of this, but considering the barely lucid moron I'm dealing with, I guess I kinda have to. And author borderline, not set for work stuff. Once again, this screenshot does not corroborate that fact at all. And by the looks of it, it seems the deviation you have covered up on my Deviant Art page is the thumbnail for my Anna Waifu video, which is not lewd at all. The reason why I believe it's that particular one is because that it's the order that I uploaded the deviations in. Besides, who are you to dictate what people do in their free time? So what if people like not safe for work content? You're trying to frame this as some sort of terrible thing I've done when it really just makes you sound like a prude. Whatever point you're trying to make is just bullshit. Now, since I know none of you watching this video are aware of who is the best, the several people that called you out on my behalf beg to differ. Say hello to... The Floofs. The Floofs. Cock Lover, known as The Floofs. Cock Lover started as... It's Road Breach, you troglodyte, and you guys keep accusing me of... Oh my god, that was so funny, I forgot to laugh. Ha 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 ha, delete your fucking channel. I mean, that straw man of me isn't wrong. You are a troglodyte. No, but you already did an introduction about me. What's the point of having this one? It seems to me like your structuring is dog shit. You already introduced me to your non-existent audience. Considering that it took you two weeks to shit out this video, I would think that it would give a decent editor the time to structure the video better. But you obviously can't do that because it seems most of your time was spent adding in all these shitty effects that make me want to click off this fucking video. So anyways, how about we actually check? What are his videos about? I think it would actually be a better time to actually get into the evidence you have for why you're accusing me of things I'm not. Are you going to do that at some point? Spoiler alert, he won't. Is it interesting? Are his videos good? Spoiler alert! No and no. Like, look at this shit! Broad Breaches Mercury Episode 3! Transformers Bot Bots Review? Like, dude, what the fuck is this? The Mercari series is mainly just a way for me to advertise things I'm selling on my Mercari page. Maybe if you watched that video, you might understand. As for my Transformers Bot Bots review, it's a review. You should have gotten that from the title, you moron. And if you're going to make the excuse of this being satire, I wouldn't just casually call somebody a terrible person without evidence to prove it. Do I need to prove myself? Yes, you do. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And if you can't give me that, then what you're doing is slander, which is against the law. Even if you take away the phony allegations, you still need to take the time to prove why my content sucks. Listen here, Seth. I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm going to use my power to save the universe from you. I'm Roadbeat. Age is just a number and cars a human too. And slander is just an action, right? I also love how your stupid ass couldn't keep the design of my character consistent, despite the fact that you could've went to my newer videos and cut out the new sprites I use. And not only that, but he kept sliding off the screen because your editing is shit. Not that relevant in the grand scheme of things, but it further proves your videos are dog shit. I think he might have accidentally killed himself. Who gives a shit though? Back to the point, I think it's best to simply just react to his videos at this moment since you guys already seen what his videos are about. The question here is, how good or bad his videos are? Let's find out! Hey everyone, Road Breach here, and I love Cox Transformers Earthspark Expedition. I recently found out about Floofs on Twitter with my secret Twitter account. So because I have a secret Twitter account, that means I'm on the same level as EDP. By that logic, you're on the same level as Hitler because you're a human being. Besides, there was actual evidence that EDP was a pedophile, whereas you've done nothing to prove that I'm a mechanophile or pedophile this entire time. At least I had the courtesy to provide evidence within 2 minutes and 18 seconds of my G-Coops video of him telling people to rate Brother Near's stream. And it only took me a couple of days to make it. And this took you 2 weeks to make. If this is the best you can do, then you might as well do 
delete your entire channel, and I felt like talking about it. Back in 2020, Outright Games released Transformers Battlegrounds, and it scratched my pain quite a bit. Not only did its graphics look terrible, but it was one of the last genres that a Transformers game should be, short of making a dating simulator. I don't really- Holy fucking shit, just shut the fuck up already. This voice is so fucking annoying, like shut the fuck up, dude. No, Saith, you shut the fuck up. I was talking about why I didn't like Transformers Battlegrounds in that video as a lead into talking about Transformers Earthspark Expedition. If you wanted to get to the main topic of the video, you could have just skipped to me talking about the game the video was actually about. And besides, is my voice really that annoying in comparison to you, the guy that stutters almost constantly and makes nothing points which you can't understand half the time? At least people actually understand me, whereas you sound like you're barely lucid. Although, I'm going to confess something that that's a little too obvious. Yeah, I did sort of edit his video because it was so fucking boring with how poorly edited it is. No way, you edited those clips for no reason? Man, I couldn't tell at all. It's almost like there was no point in adding a bunch of unnecessary edits that make the video insufferable to watch. And you really want to talk about poor editing when your character literally slides off the screen for no reason when it seems like it shouldn't? I find it funny that you apparently went to college to learn video editing, but you make mistakes like that. I'd recommend getting a refund for the time you wasted in college. But whatever. Now I think we all get the point of who is this. It's an immature Mike Lightning Queen. Who loves to interview children stuff? His mindset revolves around being one. Other than him being hypocritical at shit, egotistical, pedophilia as well, which I'll talk about it later in another video. I'm gonna react to his toy review video. You've done nothing to prove that I'm any of those things. All you've done is spend the last three minutes wasting time and saying nothing of substance, as well as committing slander. You spent two weeks making this shitty video, and you couldn't be bothered to prove I'm anything you accuse me of being. Because why? Oh boo-hoo, your stummy hurt. I guess that means you can't just delay the video until you feel better, or cut out all the unnecessary fluff from your video and actually show some fucking evidence to prove your points. I also love how you butchered Lightning McQueen's name. It's an image or my... Queen. You can really tell this guy must be firing on all cylinders. Hey, Alex. why is he telling people so he's into cartoons that are made for kids? He's 21. Why does it matter that I watch cartoons made for children? I watch it because it's a good show. I'd rather watch something with good characters and writing than a single one of any of the uncreative pieces of shit I'm supposed to watch. Because adult animation sucks and relies on shoving raunchy bullshit onto the screen with no real joke behind it. But considering you're friends with It's Keel, it doesn't seem like you'd be smart enough to get that. <laughs> He is probably trying to attract kids in any way possible. No way. I love how you say that, as if you have any idea why I made this video to begin with. I made the video because someone asked me to, and because I like the show. Saith, this part of your video is irrelevant bullshit. Absolutely nobody wanted to hear your dumbass friends spew this shit. And I know that I'm sounding like a broken record, but you took two weeks to make this shitty video slandering me, and you couldn't be bothered to provide evidence. You were able to add in shitty stock photos, but you couldn't be bothered to show your source for me being a pedophile, a mechanophile, or even evidence of me being an egotistical hypocrite. Two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, he spent two weeks making this. Whereas I have evidence of you being a racist, I have evidence of you being a homophobe, and I have evidence of you being ableist too. Like, autism is shit. I hate artists. Fuck I you, autism. You hate I autistic people? <laughs> Oh, sorry, so you're, you're just you're exposed. Okay, and, so you have a problem with me. And, and yes, that's, a reason. that's not a good reason to do anything. So you're, you're, doing. That's you're admitting you're you're admitting that this didn't start with Road Breach being obsessed with you. You just hate autist people. Saith later decided to stream, coping about the fact that Nier called him out for his abortion of a video. Somebody also made a Smurf account, posing as me, and said this bullshit, which of course the dumbass thought was actually me. I probably shouldn't have joined the stream or reported the Smurf account to make it easier to prove it wasn't me, but I would never make such a stupid argument. Not only is that not how the rating system works, but I wouldn't type such broken English or make this stupid fucking argument. On top of that, 
I literally made a video calling out someone for defending Lollicon artwork. And to address the evidence that he couldn't be bothered to show in his shitty ass video, you want to know what the evidence they had was? It's the fact that I like Five Nights at Freddy's porn, because the animatronics are possessed by children in the games. Yeah, that's what these retards are running with. Never mind the fact that I'm not attracted to the child spirit and that bringing up the lore is irrelevant because you know what's not accurate to the lore of the game? Probably the fact that the animatronics are not designed like this in the game. You can't use the lore as an argument because the designs of the animatronics in the Rule 34 are not accurate to the lore, you moron. As for these retards evidence that I am a mechanophile, it's the fact that I drew Sally Carrera from Cars Voluptuous. Yeah. That's these morons' reason. Never mind the fact that you're never going to find a car that looks like this. No matter how hard you try, you are never going to find a real car that's proportioned like this. Safe. You fucked up, and considering I have people on my side that don't believe you and are making their own videos on you regarding the situation, it's not looking good for you. Overall, this video was a slanderous waste of time made by a moron with no brain and shitty friends. Thanks for watching, and gotta zoom.